Hi, my name is Ben from Amago Dopastad, and welcome to today's show. On today's show, we'll be discussing more on the topic of record keeping and the importance of record keeping in your feedlot business or enterprise. It is important to ensure that you keep well documented and well tracked records that are not only easy to read but also easy to follow up on. And one way to go about that is to ensure that you have a file. Here at Amago Dopers, we have files of record keeping of records that we track certain parameters in our feedlot. One important parameter to track is on the health of the, your animals once they join the feedlot. And what we do here is to ensure that once we have animals joining into the feedlot, and for example, these are animals from the market or from an area that you're not well vast with, especially in terms of what was their history from a health point of view, it is important that we quarantine, we tag them, we also deworm them and ensure that we put them on a quarantine for about a period of 14 days before we put them into our feedlot. This is to ensure that we are able to not only document the animals, but also we are able to observe them in those 14 days and easily to pick out any ailments that they may have and to ensure that we also give them the best possible start in the feedlot. Because remember, you are very much concerned once the animal gets in the feedlot that they are able to perform to your desired parameters. And some of the important parameters that we follow here at Amago Doppers is weight, gain. We also look at growth rate and overall health of the particular individual animal. Generally, there are two main ways of which you will be able to get animals into your feedlot. One of those ways is the market or what we refer to as a commercial route where you purchase animals from the market and bring them or introduce them to your feedlot. The other way to go about it is the animals that you grow within your flock. These are animals that are born and bred at your farm. So generally, those are the two main ways of which you provide or supply animals into your feedlot. Here at Amago Doppers, we do it both ways. We have animals that we grow, and in certain cases whereby due to the high demand, we also seek animals from other breeders, other farmers, and in certain cases, from the market and it is important that whichever direction you take you need to ensure that you give the animals and I stress the most easiest way that they can be able to adapt into the feedlot because remember sheep unlike cows are a bit more sensitive to introduction of a feedlot system or to be introduced into a feedlot system. And the main ways to go about it in terms of an introduction is for a period of about 10 to 14 days, slowly introduce them to the feed. And as you do this, remember you've already done if it's animals from the uh, market, you've already taken them through the quarantine period, you have dewormed the animals, you also have treated any sick animals and now you introduce them into your feedlot ensuring that they have the proper records in terms of tagging you have tagged your animals so that you can be able to track those individual animals in terms of how well are they doing in their weight gain their growth rate and their health 
this is very important because remember you are actually bringing in inputs to ensure that you get the desired weight gains that you need to ensure that you are able to supply your market with quality carcasses so it is very important that you ensure that you are keeping track of the many and most vital parameters and in today's show we'll be just sharing with you some of the parameters that we here at Amago Dockers track in terms of our feedlot parameters for our ship. So one important parameter is the health. Under health we are looking at vaccinations and dewormings. Under vaccinations one important vaccine that we ensure that we uh, vaccinate our ship against is the clostridial vaccine and we do this 14 days prior to introducing the animals into the feedlot. The clostridial vaccine takes care of about seven to nine diseases, depending on the vaccine you're going to use, uh, brand and all. And the other important thing we do is to ensure that we've dewormed our ship with a broad spectrum dewormer prior to introducing them into the feedlot. So that's what we cover under the health side of it but also ensuring that they are in good optimum health as they come into the feedlot. Because sick animals will definitely not do well in a feedlot system. They will lag behind when it comes to feeding. They will lag behind in overall performance on things like weight gain and growth rate. So please ensure that you're on top of your game as you run your animals through the feedlot by ensuring that you're keeping their records on health. Another important record to keep is a performance parameter under weight. So ensure that you have your records with each individual animal tagged with their tag numbers, tracking their weight. And here at Amago Dopers, what we do is that we track their weight every single week to ensure that are they gaining weight as per the desired uh, weekly uh, gain that we expect from each and every one of those uh, animals in the feedlot. And this is very important because if you do not track it on a weekly basis, you may find that by the end of the month that you're so behind on some animals in terms of their weight gain that you are actually now running losses. Because the most important thing to remember is as you run your feedlot, it's a commercial enterprise. So what do we look at is the cost of the feed is very important. So you know what each and every one of those animals is eating per day and how much it costs. For example, you need to know that a 50 kg sheep eats generally 4% of its body weight in terms of feed. So that's about two kgs a day. Then it's very important to ensure that that particular sheep is eating that two kg. Because if it eats less, definitely you will expect not very good returns or very good uh, uh, performances, especially on your weight gains. So please keep track of that. And if it's eating over two kgs, then you may be actually be overfeeding your animal and this will also impact on your profit and loss uh, statement. So it is important that you're able to track the weight of those individual animals on a weekly basis so that if there is anything wrong, you are able to correct within good time. Because here at Amago, we put our animals on a feedlot for only a period of 40 days. So within that period of 40 days, there are certain expectations we have from those animals and hence the need for us to track them on a weekly basis. Thank you for watching the channel and we really hope that you find our videos informative and the information we share on this channel because that's what we are all about, is to ensure that you get the very best in terms of informative information as you build your own DOPA and in general your own livestock 
business. So we've noticed that many of you who are watching are not subscribing to the channel and would take this opportunity to request you if you could subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell and remember the subscription is free. So feel free to subscribe to the channel, tell your friends all about it and let's grow together. Thank you for watching one more time and for me and the rest of the Amago Dropper family, we thank you. Happy farming.